Hey guys, welcome to a, another beer review. Today we've got a potentially interesting one. And uh, I was in Beretta recently. And I'd, I'd heard people talking about this uh, brewery on some of the German Facebook groups that I'm part of. And just by chance, uh, Beretta had a couple of their beers. And um, there's been a lot of discussion over the past 12 months or so about the the role of women when it comes to the world of not only consuming craft beer but also in the brewing process now for me personally it doesn't matter who brews my beer whether it be a woman a man um, doesn't matter what the sexuality is doesn't matter what race they are it just really doesn't matter to me but it is great to to hear about um, the the growing number of uh, women who not only are consuming craft beer and um, high quality beer, but also are actually involved in the process, and I think that's a it's a wonderful thing. So this is uh, from a I think they're a trio of women who use a brewery to brew their beer. I'm not completely one hundred percent sure on the. Um, the, all the information there will be links down below they've got a website and facebook and i'm guessing other social media platforms that you can go check out but um i think their beers are limited because it does say in the bottle um limited edition and the brewery uh is called holla de Beerthy. so it's pretty much uh the the beer fairies and it's telling you that this is completely um, brewed by women and this is the Lady Porter which is uh, clocking in I didn't realise at a massive 8% ABV and this is actually brewed at Family Brewery Meinl or Gear Meinl in Hof here in Bavaria if I've got that information correct so um, yeah it's got a little bit of a spiel at the back as well which I won't read just in case it ruins it and, you know, as you can see, it does seem like they're trying to appeal maybe a bit more to the female market. Um, but, like I said, that's no issue and should never be an issue when it comes to high quality produce. But I really do love the graphic design in this one and I love the addition of the, you know, the label on the neck which is literally stapled together. And then you've got a lovely pink crown as well. So it's definitely a vibrant looking beer in terms of its presentation. So without any further ado, let's see what the beer is like. And uh, yeah, dropped it on the floor obviously. But I will definitely be keeping that crown and hopefully I can get this label off without damaging it. So uh, not using this on purpose, my uh, infamous... Uh, girly cocktail glass of doom it's just because i'm doing a few other reviews at once because i'm doing a live show and uh, this is the next best glass that i've got that i can use for a beer like this i need to buy new glassware so let's pour the beer into the glass and see what we get I'm only going to pour in a little bit because i want to save this and conserve as much as i can for the evening and uh, you can smell it already, and I've not even put my nose into the glass yet. But in terms of its colour, that is a really dark, deep, uh, browny, reddy sort of colour. Got some nice ruby hues, but then it's like a really nice, intense, almost cola-like in appearance. In fact, I'm going to pour a little bit more in there so you can actually see the beer properly. But yeah, beer poured with no head at all which i'm putting slowly down to this glass if i was to pour it like there then you know you'd get a massive amount of head but um yeah it looks like a really nice dark inviting porter now porter's not exactly my favorite styles when it comes to the darker beers but i'm slowly slowly coming to appreciate them a little bit more so anyway let's see what we get on the aroma and you're getting a really boozy sort of like rub soaked raisins that sort of thing like dried fruits you definitely definitely pick up that almost like a wheat malt sort of aroma it's got an ever so slight um hint of smelling like um schneider weiss's 
uh, Minor Aventinos. And yeah, got like even like a very slight barley wine esque aroma to it as well. But yeah, very fermented fruit, like fermented dark fruits, like they've been soaked in rum or whiskey or something like that, a little bit more sweeter. Getting a bit of like an apple and a pear also. Very, very fruity, but it's backed up by this really lovely warming multi character. The ever so slight aroma of like a smokiness in there as well. <coughs> Excuse me. It smells really good. It actually smells really strong. Uh, alcohol wise, you're not really getting too much, but you know that it's going to potentially be packed full of robust flavours. Anyway, before I start coughing up, let's uh, give it a taste. Cheers. Mm. Almost takes on a completely different beast when you drink it. I've got like a coffee sort of flavour in there. A little bit of a chocolate as well. But then that fruitiness that you got from the aroma comes through and does take over. And yeah, this is <laughs> this is um Gesundheit. Okay. This is probably the most intriguing porter that I've ever had. But yeah, I've got like images of like a, a light barley wine almost in my head. You get a sort of brandy like flavour on the back end. And that goes well with that sort of fermented dark fruits that I've been getting on the aroma. But um, yeah, it's... I mean, I didn't realise that it was an 8% beer or else I probably wouldn't have opened it tonight. But tasting it, aside from that slight brandy-like sweetness on the back end, you're not really getting any alcohol. Uh, maybe a bit of warmth as it goes down. Perfect for this time of the year, you know, it's been really cold here in Germany. So it's going to warm you up, but it's not too heavy, um, but very, very flavourful. And uh, yeah, I think that's a, an absolutely wonderful take on a porter. Um, and yeah, definitely a lot more intriguing than most porters that I've had, to be fair. There are flavours that for me personally deviate from the style. But I suppose, especially in the world of craft brewing, it's all about how you can experiment. And uh, yeah, if you find porters to be a little bit dull, then definitely give this one a taste. I'm almost getting like a slight plum or apple wine sort of flavour to it. Um, and almost like slight mulled wine characteristics as well. So uh, yeah, very, very winter like, but still fruity and fresh at the same time. A very, very, very good uh, porter by all accounts. And uh, yeah, we should have picked up a couple more of their beers that were available. Because I think you've got to promote breweries like this and put the message out there. Um, but I'd like to think that at least people who I associate with don't really care who brews the beer, you know, whether it be a man or a woman. But um, yeah, if there are any critics out there about women in the brewing industry then they need to try something like this wonderful stuff not sure how limited this beer is or even if it'll make its way outside of germany but um yeah i'd happily pick that one up again and uh, if i wanted a little bit of a winter warmer or a nightcap definitely that sort of beer so in terms of a rating i'm going to give holla die Bierfe, uh lady porter um a 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10. It would have got a 10 out of 10, but like I said, it's sort of, for me personally, and I don't really mean this as a you know a bad thing, um, it does slightly deviate, for me personally, what a porter is. But like I said, it's a, it's a wonderful little beer, and um, yeah, fantastic stuff. So if you ever get the opportunity to try this, then definitely give it a go. And um, yeah, if issues like this... You know, change the way you drink or you know put you off then don't let it because good beer is good beer at the end of the day it doesn't matter who brewed it no matter if it's a, a full woman you know brew team or a mixed brew team or if it's a macro beer you know good beer is good beer and we should promote that but i'm glad to see that there is a discourse about this sort of stuff anyway 
gone into a little bit of like a preachy video, haven't I? So, um, yeah, if you want to find out more about this beer and the brewery, then links are down below. There'll always be you know, much more correct information included in the description as opposed to the video. But, um, yeah, I'm going to enjoy taking my time with that one uh, throughout the night. And, um, yeah, if you've tried it, let me know your thoughts and opinions. What's some of your favourite porters? And, uh, yeah, I always like to hear what you guys have to say. Thank you guys for watching, and I shall hopefully see you next time. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.